going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another course vlog it's actually been a long time since I've done one of these but I'm excited for these next two videos today I am playing the west course out here at the Broadmoor I'm playing all 18 holes this is gonna be a part one part two so you're gonna see you're gonna get to see what I shoot and then Zach at some point is gonna be playing the east course and we're doing a course vlog for him to show all of those holes so be sure and go subscribe to his channel but we're gonna get right into this it's probably gonna move pretty quick and it's, it rained like two inches last night out here, so I may be rolling the ball a little bit in the fairways. We're going to get right into this, starting on hole number one. It's a relatively short par, short par four. I'm probably going to hit a four or five iron, depending on how the wind is. So let's get right into this. That's absolutely perfect. I don't know if you can hit a better first tee shot. All right, guys, I have 128 yards to this pin. It says it's playing eight up. I think that may be, kind of be a light pee wedge. With this kind of rain and heavy moisture, I'm probably gonna play it about the, about the number, 130. I think that's pretty good. Great swing. Guys, I, you've probably heard it say me a ton in these previous videos out here at the Broadmoor, but stick around for this whole video because the views are just unbelievable. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good about my golf game. I'm swinging it a lot better than I have in the last couple weeks. So hopefully I can put together a good round of golf out here. That right there is what you're going to get the entire day. Just beautiful views. And I actually hit this in here about 10 feet, so see if we can start off strong. I'm just going to set this up right here and uh, see if I can make this birdie. I just needed a half a roll. We've gotten a little more used to the greens, but for some reason we just haven't been struggling to get them to the hole. So I may I'll take a mental note to see if I can hit them, hit them, hit my putts a little harder. But onto a par four. Probably just going to be hammer and driver a lot today because this course is pretty open. So you actually spun that ball back in the fairway with a pitching wedge. We haven't been spinning the ball much. Yeah, that's the, actually the first one this entire trip that I've spun back like six feet probably with a pitching wedge. So greens are a little more receptive today, receptive today which could make it a little easier. On to hole two. I'm going to be taking this right over that group of trees with a little fade, see if I can get it in the fairway. I think I'm right in that bunker where we were yesterday. Maybe it stayed short if I hit a little low on the face, but it's all right. 99 yards to the pin, pretty straightforward shot. I'm going to hit a 56 degree and uh, this one's definitely gonna spin. <laughs> Guys, got about six feet, seven feet for birdie here. I, I bet that thing landed and spun back uh, definitely some, but good look at birdie here on hole two. Birdie, sir. Good. That's like the we're off to a good start here. This is one of the best starts I've had out here. See if we can keep it going. A little birdie on hole two, one under after two. Greens are rolling pretty good today. All right, hole number three. This one is I think it was about 4:30. Is that yeah, right? I think it's I think about 4:30. So. I'm gonna hit three wood just because there's a bunker up there that I think might be reachable. And I hit three wood the other day and it was pretty good. So we're gonna go with that. I think you got a good hop. Yeah, that took a huge kick back to the right. It was headed down the right side. And I don't know if it's gonna be in the fairway or not, but it got a huge bounce. To, did I say huge bounce to the right? Got a huge bounce to the left. Starting early. Gosh dang, we're already getting this thing going. <laughs> All right, I have 104 yards into this pin. Out of the rough, um, I got a little 56 degree, gonna play it low and kind of maybe run it back there. It looks like I have room to land it a little bit short. Pin high, pin high about 20 feet left. I'm not too upset with that shot. It kind of jumped a little weird out of the rough, but we're good. Got another birdie putt. Another pretty good shot up here. Um, 
Got about 20 feet straight down the hill. If I remember correctly, didn't you have this putt yesterday and you actually broke that one? I wood? did. Yeah, so see if I can roll another one in here. Nice little par here on hole three. I'll take that. Um, feeling pretty good right now. See if I can keep swinging like this and I'm playing a beautiful golf course. It is starting to kind of lightly rain out here. So we're gonna keep moving through this, but we might be moving a little faster and maybe a little bit less, less talking, but you never know. Sometimes I say that and it ends up being just a comedy show. Hole number four, it is a, kind of a shorter hole. It's about 380. I'm gonna try to hit four iron and there's two sections of fairway and I'm gonna try to stay in the first section. Four iron with a little baby draw should put me up with a wedge. Yeah. That was quick left, but I think I'm gonna be fine. I think it stayed short of those trees, so hopefully I still have a shot at the green, but that was just, that was a bad swing. Actually, maybe not quite as far left as I thought. I'm only about maybe 20 yards left of the fairway, but I still got a good shot into this green. And uh, 155, out of the rough, downwind, that is going to be just a stock P wedge. It looks like I need to carry it onto that back tier for sure though. that was gonna be really good but it is just a smidge long but it's probably not too far because that pin is pin is way back so maybe a little chip and a putt here this thing landed right here and jumped back there and it did get caught on the rough but let's see if I can get this up and down dude I thought that was going in I did too I'm glad it hit the pin though <laughs> Nice. That feels good to get that up and down. I almost chipped that one in, but like I said a second ago, I'm glad it hit the pin because otherwise it would have been like 12 feet. But one under after four, three, four. Why do I always mess this up? One, one under <laughs> after four holes onto a par three. All right, we got 164 yards to this pin, but it is right back into the wind. It's playing a couple down. It's really hard to say. It's kind of right between a nine and an eight. My gut's saying it's a, it's like a draw nine, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Exactly how I drew it up. Perfect little baby draw to the center of the green and should have about 20 feet for another birdie. All right, straight down the hill here. Like I said, about 20 feet, maybe a little farther. I'll take this shot any day of the week. All right, I'm gonna play this to break just a little bit to the right. Settle, 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 settle. That was a lot faster than I was anticipating. Butter feeling good today inside of five feet. That's that's good. That builds confidence right there for sure. All right, guys, six hole of the day. Um, this is about a 460 yard par four, but it's you can take some off of it. I'm gonna take it right over this corner and try to hit my little fade, get one in the fairway, and hopefully have a wedge in. I think that's really good. Man, feels good to hit driver like that again. I mean, you think, I think that was, I think that's perfect. I think it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can hit it better than that. 133 to the pin. I just missed the fairway by about 10 feet, but it says it's playing up 10 yards, 140. I'm going to hit a P wedge again and try to play a little bit draw in there off of that tall pine tree, just to right of the pin. That thing just got straight stuck in that rough and just close that club face immediately and it's left of the green and short so i got that going for me all right so i am in that bunker probably about 25 yards short but i got some green to work with so i'm gonna hit a little sand wedge and uh 
See if I can get some spin on this ball and stop it close to the hole. Dude, great, great shot. That's a top tier bunker shot. I feel pretty good about that one. Did it have spin on it? Oh, that was just all around good. Okay. To be honest, I was focusing on the zoom yeah. and... The sand was really, really wet, so I wasn't sure how it was going to react, but... I think it did. Reacted you'll, pretty good. You'll see on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Solid up and down there. That keeps me at one under through six holes. On to hole seven. I have three holes left. In part one of this 18 hole course vlog out here at the Broadmoor. And gosh, I'm having a lot of fun. Feeling pretty good. Hopefully I can keep this up. That'd be awesome. A hard dog leg left to the left here. It is about 400 yards, but when you cut the corner, it kind of takes a little bit off of it. I'm gonna hit three iron and I would I would be happy if I kind of had around the 150 in. A little bit aggressive there, but I think it worked out. It looked like it got a hard kick forward and hopefully it kind of made it around the bin actually. I hit that really well. And it was, me and Zach, was it, a, it was in a match? It was. it was. Me and Zach played in a match and if you, maybe you saw it, but I had a tee shot on this hole that was not very good. So that was 150 times better. All right, that was actually, that was a monster three iron, but I think it landed probably right back there and it's downhill. So it kicks forward pretty hard. Um, I just have a short wedge in here, maybe a hundred yards. Guys, this is like pretty much standing water right here. So I'm actually going to move this back to a little bit of a higher point right here. And, uh, I have 90 yards playing 92. I think that's a, I think that's a 60 degree. All right, that made it just past, or right about pin high. I got about 15 feet for another birdie here. Yeah, this green is soaked. Solid par there. Keeps me at one under, one under through eight holes. Got a par four and a par three to finish out this side. I got my driver. I'm gonna take it probably a little bit left of those green side bunkers that you can see up there and see if I can hit my fade. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's down the left side and it almost went dead straight. I think it's probably in the left rough, but I should, I should be able to give it a go from there. I actually only have 150. I was not expecting that after I hit how I hit it, but I'm going to hit an eight iron. What do y'all think? It is right down there. That is a juicy lie. I think I'm gonna hit an eight iron. If it comes up a little short, it's probably okay. And I don't know how much it's gonna move with that, but I got eight iron. Hey, I'll take that, to be honest. Nice little layup from 150, but I'm just glad I found my ball, I guess. All right, well, that kind of released a little bit, but I got a birdie putt, probably about 23 feet, 24 feet. Solid par there on the eight. Um, I got one hole left. I'm currently one under par. Finishing on a par three, and then we're just gonna wrap up part one of this 18 hole course vlog. So stay tuned for part two that will be coming here in two days. 181, um, playing about 181, but the wind is definitely gonna affect it. I kind of still like eight iron to be honest, even though it's into the wind. I feel like seven iron is just a little too much. Dude, I think I gotta switch to a seven.
All right, it is about pin high. I'm definitely glad I switched to seven iron. It, eight iron would have, it would have taken a huge eight iron, but pretty straightforward shot here. Got a little sand wedge in hand. Dude, that is awesome nine holes right there. No bogeys, one birdie. I am at one under par for the first nine holes of this Broadmoor 18 hole course vlog. Guys, that is about it for today's video. I will see you guys in a couple days on the back nine and hopefully I can go out there and make some more birdies. So, shout out to Zach for helping me film this and uh, stay tuned for lots more content coming between me and him. So, see you guys in a couple days. Peace.